figure it out. I'm either I'm good either way. Say his name three times, Sammy. Beetlejuice. What? Beetlejuice. Yeah. What? Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Hey, somebody call me. Uh, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the the fun portion of Knots Week. We got the we got the business out of the way. We got your tips and tricks. We got your ticket needs. We got your game plan set. Two game plans at that set. Two. We got two bonus videos. Now we're gonna tell talk about the fun stuff. Maybe a little controversial for uh our community in the sense that uh I don't want okay, for starters, before we get into these next two videos, I don't want anyone Getting mad at us because we didn't choose your scare zone higher or your maze higher. We're just going based off excitement for things. Obviously, yes. we're excited about everything, but we have to make these lists because that's how these things work. So, with that being said, today we're talking our most hyped shows and scare zones for Not Scary Farm's 50th anniversary, the 2023 season. Sammy, how are we doing today? <laughs> It is a going. It is a going. Uh, it is. We're filming this the day before we leave for Horror Nights, or will I leave to California for Horror Nights? So I'm excited. Uh, yeah. Ecstatic. I'm pretty sure we had a good uh, time, right? That, that content's up there. They can watch that. Yeah. So if you haven't watched it already, go ahead and watch it. The content is up. And we had a great time. And I survived. I'm putting yeah. that out. I'm putting good vibes in the universe. I think but we yes. went through at least one maze twice. I don't know which one, but we went through one twice. Yeah, it was um, Evil Dead Rise. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. If I have to place a bet on any of them, it's probably gonna be that or Universal Monsters. Yeah, but I want it to be Monstros or Stranger Things or The Last of Us. But you know, yeah, that's, me too. That's, that's, for another, that's for another conversation. That's not what we're here to talk about today. Today we're talking shows and scare zone so you want to kick us off with your there's four shows so what is your number four all right starting with the shows here i have for number four and i already told sammy this one but this is the only one i told sammy that's music monsters and mayhem for no other reason other than it replaced puppet up and sammy and i were big fans of puppet up so i'm a little sad to see that go this year but i don't have any doubt that this show is going to blow people away i um, mean you got music you got monsters and to wrap it all up you got mayhem i mean what more can you ask for the 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 freaking the words are in the title of the show it's going to be a fun one it's going to be a, a new bizarre one they always do really good job with like production like shows like this so i'm excited to see what they come up with so yeah that's my number four all right my number four is dr cleaver returns cool. Although it is returning, it is a, a show that was a favorite in the past. I've never seen this show, and I know nothing about this show. And for that reason, that's why I'm listing it the lowest on my anticipation when it comes to shows. Just because I don't know what I'm walking into. I know that I'm going to try to make some time to see it just so that we can, you know, I can give it an honest review. But uh, I... The, the previous shows I've done in the birdcage since I've been going, like the magic show they basically did, it was okay. But if you've seen it once, you've seen it twice, and you really didn't have to go through it again. So that's why I think because of its location being in the birdcage theater, I'm less excited because I, I don't know what it's going to be, but I have very low expectations for it. All right, number three? Number three. And this is where the uh, this is where the shock factor begins for everybody here, and that's going to be with the hanging uncancelled. Wow! I know, I know, and I have a reasoning for it. I'm happy it's coming back, but we have an idea. We've seen the hanging before, and I think because people have been offended by the previous iterations of the last few years of this show, which caused it to leave. 
I think they're only doing fan service by bringing it back for its 50th. And I don't anticipate it being a reoccurring show. I think it's just going to be a show that they do this one time saying, hey, it was our 50th anniversary. We gave the fans what they wanted. Bye. Um, so that's why I'm putting it at the 50th or at the third spot. Um, I think it'll be good. I'm just a little bit more excited for what we'll get with these other two shows. What about you? What are you What are you looking at at number three? Number three, I'm going to go with Dr. Cleaver Returns. Um, like you mentioned, this was something from the past that they're reviving, uh, doing a whole brand new show about. Uh, so I'm excited to see what that has to offer. Uh, and you did say Birdcage Theater is the location. Um, and... I enjoyed the magic show, but like Sammy said, if you've seen it once, you've seen it twice. Um, but I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. I remember the first time we ever went to go see it. It was just so hilarious. Um, so I'm excited to see what they have to do with this one. Again, this is something returning that was there previously. So I'm excited to see what they conjure up this time. See what I did there? See what I That was the name of the last show, right? That was the name of the yeah. last show, right? Yeah. yeah. Conjures. Um, but number two for me, uh, one that I really enjoyed and really shocked me, uh, last year, which was, and I got to read the, read the title real good, real quick. Uh, Sammy's favorite part is me butchering names. So here we go. Le Magnifico Carnival du Grotesque. Eh, I can work no, on you that. You got it. That's all right. It's yeah. Better than expected. Yeah. Better than I expected. But uh, this was fun last year. I really enjoyed the whole concept of like this, like <clears throat> reviving of a modern day kind of freak show. Um, and I really thought that the talent was so phenomenally talented. They were great. Um, they had you on your toes the entire time uh, with all the different stunts they accomplished and whatnot. So I was super stoked to see it this year. I can't wait to see uh, if they do something brand new for this year, uh, for the 50th especially. And uh, I can't wait to see what is in store for this one. I, uh, this one's a roller coaster right here. Yeah, it is a roller coaster. And it is my number two as well, Carnival de Grotesque. We shared our number two on this one. Um, this one seems like it, it was a great show last year. It's high energy um, and has a lot of buzz with it. Um, I, I know that we had made some time to see it last year because we walked by it and we were like, oh, it seems cool. But, you know, we were busy doing some other things. But when we finally made the time to see it, we were like, oh, my gosh, that was actually a really good show. Uh, had us on the edge of our seats. High energy. Uh, great performance. Um, and it was really a show filled with tons and tons of different things that combined together. And I thought it was really fun. Um, I, I really liked the ringmasters and how they really tied the show together. Um, and then how each individual performance was something slightly different, um, but really uh, filled the theme of the event. All right, so my number one is going to be music, monsters, and mayhem. Um, I'm excited for the show. I am sad that Puppet Up is gone. I loved Pop It Up. It was something I, I made an effort to see every night I attended. Um, but I really just felt like last year it, it had run its course. Um, as much as I loved it, I just didn't see it eating up the amount of crowd that a, a show sh that show should have. Um, I just think people were kind of like, hey, I saw it last year or I saw it the, year, or the, the time prior. So I don't really have to make time to see this show. Um, Although it was funny and the performers were great, I just think it ran its course. I'm excited to see this. This is going to be a totally different thing. This is going to be a actually scripted show. And oh, we got a we got a visitor. Do you want me to stop? No, keep going. Keep it going. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I think it's going to be like an it's actually a scripted show. Um, it's supposedly going to be really good and pay homage to the 50th anniversary um, with various different performances um and so i'm excited to see what it brings uh it's something i'm gonna really make an effort to see um and then we'll report back on on how if i like it or if i didn't like it after all but i'm excited to see where it is um and tell us why the hanging uncanceled is the, the most anticipated show on your end why isn't it the most anticipated show on your list is the real question because this is the show that made 
Not Scary Farm, help make Not Scary Farm what it is today. This show is something that is a tradition at Not Scary Farm. And when it went away, I was very sad um, to see it go. But I'm super happy to see it return. Whether it is the one year or not, uh, I am going to make an effort to try to go see that every single night that I go. Um, So... Yeah, I I love The Hanging. I I think it's such a great show. I love parody shows like that. Um, One of my favorite shows that they did other than The Hanging at Universal Studios was Bill and Ted, which is essentially kind of the same thing. Um, They did their own kind of version of like a hanging. Well, not like a hanging, but like they were looking for someone at the end and stuff. But it was Bill and Ted and it was all pop culture. To see something like this return, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, And to have it. Uh, where I I believe at one point I don't know if it's ever been in the Wild West stunt show stage, but to have it there for me to see for the first time ever in that stage I think is going to be awesome. It's going to be seated, so that's going to be another awesome factor. Uh, so I mean to take a little break and watch the hanging and sit down that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and to see what they have in store this year and who gets hung I mean that's always that's that's, that's so so fun. But uh. It looks like that witch might be, they might be out for that witch again. So uh, if they, that is the fact, I'm down. And what do they say, Sammy? Hang that witch. We'd be yelling it to the top of our lungs when we go through that maze. But uh, yeah. yeah, so with that being said, that's all of our most anticipated shows for Not Scary Farm. Let us know what you guys' most anticipated shows are. But we're not done with this video just yet. We're probably at the halfway mark now. Because now we're going to flip over to our most anticipated scare zones of 2023 for the 50th anniversary. Now, we have a lot of friends that work in these scare zones. Please don't get mad at our orders. (laughs) This is just based off what I witnessed last year from scare zones and what's coming this year. So keep that in mind. I'm going based off my own. Dude, I am so like, this is bothering me right now. The skin tone difference. I don't know why. Um, But just please, this is based off what what we thought last year and how we're feeling going into this year. With that being said, Sammy, what's your number five? Number five for me is the scare zone that gets no love. And I'm not going to give it any love, unfortunately. I wish I could. But there's just so many. It's it's really tight on these. So my number five is Forsaken Lake. Okay, so we the can foot- agree on that. <laughs> yeah, the the footprint is just so small. the The costume design is great. The procession is great. The little the little scenic design they have in there is great. But it's just such a small footprint. And if you don't make an effort to see it, it gets ignored. And full transparency, on the video we have coming out oh no came out yesterday game plan yesterday before i made that i went hey how do i find a way to get you to go to forsaken just because it's a lot harder to get to because there's no there's no maze in that area so the foot traffic is minimal and i think because of that they, they don't really staff it with as many performers as any of these other zones um, so if you come at the wrong time there might not be that many monsters um, and so that's why I, I put Forsaken Lake Lake as my number five. All right, we're just going to go to number four now because there's nothing more <laughs> I have to say to it. Uh, that's literally my only gripe with the thing is there's really nothing over there other than the scare zone. So, I mean, I wish there was stuff over there so that scare zone can get some more love. But unfortunately, there's just not. Um, so at number four, I think this is where the shock fest really starts happening right now. <laughs> Carnival. Shock fest. I'm about to get a lot of hate from Carnival people, but I hope you don't take this as hate. I, I hope you take this as fuel for this season. For the sole purpose that the Goring 20s beat you for Scare Zone of the Year. That's all I'm going to leave it at. That's your commentary? That's my cool. commentary. Because I all love right, a little my... rivalry competition. Cool. My number four will be the newest scare zone, the gauntlet. I think it's going to be super awesome, but it goes back to my forsaken lake argument in the sense of there's, you'll see it if you're going to chilling chambers, but if you're leaving chilling chambers, 
the back half of that zone, if you don't walk over that way, it just gets no love. A lot of times people go to the front where Chilling Chambers is or where Pumpkin Eater was last year. You get in line, you get thrown out kind of in the middle, and then you kind of come back. You don't go hit the back part of it. Um, and I felt like last year, just based on the way that CS was treated with, um, with the zone there, the first year that zone had come, it was great. It was really great. They had a lot of shows, a lot of interactive moments. But you flash forward to last year, where interactive moments were a lot less. Uh, you had the burning of the Wicker Man at midnight, but prior to that, they had like the witch catches or catching the witches and putting them in cages. And I just didn't see that last year. Um, and so that's why I'm putting uh, the gauntlet at number four, because I think it's going to be super cool and super awesome. And it'll be nice to have a, a, a new take there. But I just fear it's going to fall into the same rhythms as the previous zones that were in cs number three you want me to go three yeah it's your turn okay my number three will be carnival it's good it's great but i think unfortunately there's two zones that i'm a little bit more excited for this coming season i think it does a great job Love the actors, love the performers. I've yet to walk through that zone and not be entertained. In fact, they've got they've scared me a few times. I will, I'll be willing to admit that. But I'm just a little bit more excited for the other two zones that I have on my list above it. If I had a three. guess for your last two, it's probably going to be Goring 20s and Ghost Town. In that order. If I had a guess. If you were a guessing man, we'll see. My number three, <laughs> the Goring 20s. Now, I know what I just said about Carnival, right? A little, a little fuel to the fire right there. But I'm not going to let Goring 20s pass that easy as well. And the reason why I'm so hard on, this, on these zones in this video today is because I love them both so much. And these actors, these monsters, they work so hard every single year to deliver something very special. And I want to see everyone succeed, but unfortunately the ruling system only allows one to succeed. And being that Goring 20s is the rain. My name is Paul Heyman, and I am the advocate for the reigning Heavyweight scare zone of 2022 coming into 2023. Are they retaining or is another scare zone going to take it this year? Because it is the 50th and there is a lot of, uh, a lot of people coming, coming out to play in this one from what I'm hearing. So this is going to be a fun one to watch and I'm glad I'm a freaking I'm glad I'm in the stands cheering y'all on like I'm at a freaking NBA game or something because this is going to be entertaining. So Goring 20s, Carnival, Ghost Town, <laughs> Forsaken Lake, Gauntlet. Show me something this year. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. That being said, number two is going to Ghost Town. Ghost Town is one of the original scare zones. The original scare zone at Not Scary Farm. But why am I putting it at number two is because my number one's got me a little bit more hyped from stories that I've heard and whatnot to see my own version, a new version of it for number one. We'll get there, though. But Ghost Town has delivered us some very special and key moments to... Uh, Every time we've gone to Knots from 2019 till now. And uh, it continues to bring those special moments. I'm so happy and stoked for any new people coming on, any uh, returning people that we love to, to see out there. Um, I'm so stoked to see who comes on and, and, and just in, and adds to that story. 
Uh, they do something very special in Ghost Town. They're more of like a very big storytelling uh, zone. If you've really listened to the characters every now and then, you can actually hear them telling their stories and whatnot. So I love that a lot. Um, and I'm not saying all the other zones do that because all the other zones do that really well with the theming of their scare zone. But Ghost Town really ties it into that, you know, the Green Witch and, and Origins and everything. So that's why I think Ghost Town is such a unique zone. So I'm super excited to see what they do with this year. All right. My number two is also Ghost Town. Which is a shock because I, I, I hey, well, thought you were going to That actually is a pretty big shock. <laughs> yes. Ghost Town, 50th anniversary. First scare zone at Knott's. So I know that they're going to bring their A game because they have a lot of people who have walked through that zone over the last 50 years and loved that zone. So I know that there's a lot of pressure on that zone and I feel like they're gonna meet the pressure um, because people have been going for a long, long time. Um, and so I know that they're gonna be hyped. I know that there's a there's people are saying like, hey, back when I went back, when I was scaring in 87, man, that was it was a different zone than it is today. And so I think they're gonna hear that and be like, that is motivation. Um, and so they're gonna use that and they're gonna be absolutely terrifying. Um, and you just add the lore that you get from the stories from the the uh, the monsters out there in addition to origins. Um, and I think they just keep building and building and building. Um, and I mean, I don't think there's anywhere scarier in not scary farm than fog alley. The fog is so dense in that area that it's difficult to see the actors and it really i think it just makes it a, a puts the scare in scare zone in, in my opinion but my number one by process scare zone, elimination by process elimination the one i am most excited for is goring 20s this year and i'll tell you why you have a maze now room 13 coming and that's going to further the lore of this zone. I think uh, the first iteration of Goring 20s, they were trying to figure it out. Get their footing, understand how the zone looks, how it feels, how you, the interaction should look. And then last year they got that down. And, and obviously like you mentioned, one scary zone of the year based upon whatever internal voting that may look like. And so I think they, they met it. And then now you add an addition to lore of room 13, and I think they're just going to take it to another level. And I, I'm, I, I'm going to go on a limb. I'm going to make a bold take here that if they meet the demand this year, this, this scare zone is going to be around for the next 10 years because the, the maze I'm, I, I anticipate is going to be really quality. I think it perfectly fits into the, what that area is in daytime operations. Um, and so because of the way that the theming is in daytime operations, I think the scare zone just lends its hand perfectly um, to, to fitting that. So as long as that area is themed in a 1920s-esque way, I think Goring 20 is a staying. Um, and I think they're, pu they're putting their hat into it and putting their funds into it by putting Room 13 as a maze. And so that's why I'm super excited for this zone this year. Damn, that's a good point. Very good point. Didn't even really put two and two together even though it's right there but that's not going to change the reason why i chose this as number one and that's the gauntlet i've heard stories time and time again i've seen footage the gauntlet was legendary back in the day i only have one worry about it it's coming for the 50th i'm excited it's coming I'm excited to to see it with my own eyes. The characters looked amazing at the preview event. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited for that. My only worry, though, is will it live up to the hype that it did back in the day? That's based around the monsters. And I have 110% complete faith that they will live up to that hype. It may take a little bit to get your your groove down and, and what you want to do as said character. But I think once it's done and down, that's why I love having the pass because I can go from start to finish and see that improvement. And that's one of my favorite things doing with this pass is seeing everyone improve in their own ways. Like they did this last week. Now they're trying this this week. Wow, that actually an improvement. Um, everyone's trying to be better. Everyone's trying to better themselves. So I can't wait to see 
what goes down with the gauntlet this year. Super stoked for it. Super hyped for it. Can't wait for it. But what are your most hyped scare zones this year at Not Scary Farm 2023 50th anniversary? Leave them down in the comments below. And tune in tomorrow for our very last day of Not Scary Farm Week right here exclusively on the Nights of Horror for our top, I'm sorry, our most hyped mazes of 2023. We'll see you guys one last time for tomorrow. And then throughout spooky season, we'll be seeing you a ton.